What's up YouTube peeps and barbecue freaks? Thank you guys for stopping by today. Let's make tostadas, chicken tostadas. This should be good. So what I have here, we're gonna start with some chicken thighs. This is our uh, skin on, bone in, but I'm actually gonna turn these into boneless chicken thighs. So what I'm gonna do is just cut, they're still a little frozen. I thought they'd be thawed out by now, but it's all right, just makes it easier to cut. going to take my shears and cut right around this bone cut around it and under it just to remove it it's actually pretty simple to do you can save money by doing this yourself because the boneless skinless chicken thighs actually cost more at least here they do so just like that, just remove that bone. And now we have a, I'm gonna leave the skin on, trim a little bit away, but I'm gonna leave the skin on. We're gonna use that. So here I have a boneless skin on chicken breast, or chicken thigh, chicken thigh. Do the same to this one. Just cut right along the side, right underneath the bottom. You cut along the bone just to make sure you get some of that as much meat off as possible so <clears throat> that's it here's another bone on or a skin on boneless chicken thigh and if you want a boneless skinless chicken thigh just uh, just take the skin off but very simple easy to do I've got a few more that I'm gonna do I'm gonna get those done off camera and then I'll pick back up all right, so I have the bones removed from the chicken thighs. I'm using, I've, uh, I've got five of them that I'm gonna use. So I have them here. I'm gonna season these with, you know it, it's incredible. And uh, <clears throat> all of you who have actually been uh, using this, who have ordered it and rave about it, um, I just wanna say thank you because, uh, you know, Many of you ordered it off of um, my opinion of the rub, and I stand behind this rub any day. It's a great rub. Those of you that have tried it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You'll agree with me. Again, this is something that uh, you know. I'm not. I don't get paid to to advertise this or to speak highly of it or anything like that. Um, but it's, it's a rub that is just, it's incredible. <laughs> I mean, there's really no other way to describe it. And, and those of you that have tried it have, have come back to me and said, hey, you know, you are right about that rub. I mean, it's, it really is incredible. And uh, some of you, some of your wives, because you told me earlier today, <laughs> are wanting to use this on everything, just like my wife. In fact, my wife... <clears throat> has been taking my rub and using it on everything uh, so much so that uh, Michael over at Heaven Made Products <clears throat> when he sent my latest shipment he labeled our bottles well I'll show you in just a second uh, in this pan I've just got a little bit of oil <clears throat> We're just gonna fry up the skin or fry up both sides just for a bit. We are gonna use that skin in this recipe, so I'm leaving the skin on. So we'll get this seasoned up. We're gonna get this in the pan. And we'll let it go for a few minutes on each side. We'll flip it over, let it go for a few more minutes. And then I'm going to add a few other things to this. So I was mentioning that my, uh, how my wife is using all my It's Incredible on everything. That I, When I mentioned it to Michael, 
he sent these to us, his and hers. So now she has her own bottle and she can leave mine alone. I thought this was pretty funny when he sent it. All right, so the chicken has been going for a little bit on both sides. What I'm gonna add next, I've, took in, uh, I've taken two large cloves of garlic and minced it up. We're gonna add that to the mix. And then I'm gonna add about half a cup of uh, chicken broth. I'm gonna get a lid on this and just let the chicken finish cooking all the way through as it sits in, as it sits in this uh, chicken broth. <clears throat> just kind of steam it, continue to add some moisture to the chicken. And once it's done, yeah, the bottom side looks good. Once it's done, I'll pull it off and let the chicken cool for a bit and then shred it up. So I'm gonna get a lid on it. Oh, you know what? I forgot. One other thing. I'm gonna take a lime. And I'm gonna add the lime to it. Add some lime juice. So it's the juice from one whole lime. And we're just gonna let this simmer. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, get a lid on it and let it simmer until it's done. All right, so while the chicken is cooking, the next thing we're gonna do is take some beans. Got some chato beans here, juice and all. Fresh out of the goddamn can. For y'all that don't know, that was my JB impression. JB over at Louisiana Cajun Recipes. He was actually one of the first people I've ever started following on YouTube. So that's his line. So I've got two cans that I'm going to put in here. And as they simmer, we're just going to smash these, juice and all, put a little bit of oil. If you don't have fresh beans, which I don't today, this is a good way to go. And this, actually, the HEB brand. It's actually really good. I like it. So we're going to use this. We're going to let these uh, boil for a little bit or simmer. We'll get them mashed up and make some refried beans out of them, y'all. All right, so as the beans start to simmer, I'm just going to take the back end of a spoon and smash them. I like to add the uh, leave the juice in there like this. And I like to take the, the like the chato beans or the refried, I mean the uh, pinto beans, and make them into refried beans myself. A lot of times when you buy the can of refried beans, they come out really dry. So when you do it this way with the, and, and, and you leave the liquid in there, it helps these beans as you smash them to not be so dry. So this is why I like doing it this way instead of just buying a can of refried or uh, buying a can of refried beans and using that. They'll come out a lot a lot juicier this way or have more moisture have more moisture spit it out <laughs> I'm sorry but I'll have more moisture this way and I can I can control like how refried I want them how smashed I want them so I'm just gonna keep doing this until I get these smashed up and I'll show you what they look like once I'm done so as you can see the beans are starting to <clears throat> uh, look a little more like refried beans the moisture is kind of evaporating but there's still like a lot of moisture in here and this is what I was talking about when you add like the whole can with the liquid 
it gives you the opportunity to control you know how refried you want them so these are going to be perfect i'm going to let these cool down and as they cool they're going to tighten up a little bit so while they might look a little runny right now as it sets or as it cools it's going to tighten up so i'm going to take the chicken the chicken is done i'm letting it cool down and i'm going to shred it up into pieces and then we'll get to assembling um, some tostadas and I'll show you the shells that we're going to use and how we're going to make those in just a bit all right so I got the chicken all shredded up here I'm going to take that that chicken uh, broth with the the lime juice and the garlic and just pour that right over the top this stuff is so good you guys out of bounds good This right here, I, I can eat just by itself, just like this. That it's incredible with this chicken. Oh my word. So the beans are done, the chicken is done. We're gonna get some shells made up. I'll show you what that looks like in just a second. Let's give this a taste. Mmm. Yeah, buddy. Good. Gosh almighty, this is good. Uh, amazing. So for the shells, <clears throat> we've got a pan here with some oil in it. And uh, I'm going to take some corn tortillas, just drop it in there. Fry them on both sides for about 15 seconds. That should harden them up. And that's it. We're gonna get these shells made up and then we'll assemble some posadas. All right, everything's done. We've got the tortilla, the shell here, the uh, chicken here. We're gonna take some of this refried beans. It's actually tightened up pretty good. Put some of that in there. Spread that out a little bit. Take some of this chicken, leaving that skin in there, mixing it with everything was a good idea. Tons of flavor in that. I will say I thought I had some slaw. I was gonna make a slaw to top it off, but I don't have any. So there's that. So I'm just gonna to top it. Actually, let's hit it with a little bit of Salsa, get a little bit of heat in here. I'm gonna take, since I don't have the slaw, just a little bit of cheese. And sprinkle that right on top. Again, I wish I would have had some slaw. I thought I had some slaw, but I didn't. Anyway, it's still simple. It's still going to be good. So let's get this out of the way. And we'll get a little close-up of this. All right, so here's the tostadas finished product. Simple, nothing fancy but it's gonna be extremely flavorful. All right, now the best part, the taste test. Ugh, this thing, I think I overloaded it. Uh, you know what, this is gonna be messy. Anyway, let's see if I can get a bite of this. The beans are perfect, quite honestly. The chicken, with, with that It's Incredible, that's probably the one thing that It's Incredible is best on the most, chicken. I absolutely love it on chicken. A little heat from the salsa, which I like. 
Again, I wish I would have had the slaw to go on top. Didn't have it, so went with the cheese. It's still, you know, simple but delicious. And I like the homemade shell. I like using a corn tortilla, frying it, hardening it up myself. When you buy like the the regular hard shell uh, tostadas, a lot of times when you bite into them, they tend to crumble. That doesn't happen when you make homemade uh, or make the shells yourself with corn tortillas, you know, frying them in, in oil. Anyway, this is good. I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you guys for watching. Truly, truly appreciate it. I will see you guys next time. Take care.